Okay, so this is um, just a quick video to show you our new suit maker in action. Um, I'm using the Asda Good and Balanced Minestrone Suit Mix that we bought the other day and showed on the vlog. So, um, in the instructions, it said just to add the veg to the uh, suit maker first and then fill it up with stock. And I've just realised that the the pasta comes in like a little dried packet, so I'll just open that and add that too. I've already put the pasta in, uh, the vegetables in, sorry. So I'll just quickly do this. Okay, right, um, I've already made up the vegetable stock. We used these Kalo Very Low Salt Organic Vegetable Stock Cubes. There you go. Um, these are great for anyone with intolerances because they're gluten and lactose free. So I recommend them. We bought them for Waitrose and I think they're on quite a good deal. They were quite cheap. You get six in a pack. So you just um, dissolve one of those in 500 ml of boiling water to make a vegetable stock. Smells good and you add that. Inside here there's a minimum line and a maximum line so it instructs to add the vegetables first and then fill it uh, fill it to the line with water. And that's just a bit short but only slightly so I'll just add a little bit more water. That should be enough. Right, okay, I'll put the lid on. Turn around. And in the instruction booklet, it does say how long each setting takes. There's, like we showed on the vlog, there's the cream soup setting, the soup with pieces, the compot, easy cleaning, blend and keep warm options. For a soup with pieces, I don't know if you can see, I'll try and get there a bit closer. It says a 25 minute um, setting. So I'll press that and start. And yeah, I'll be back in 25 minutes, hopefully with some lovely minestrone soup. See you then. Cool, so that should be soup done. I was thinking during the 25 minutes, it's, it's nice how the uh, pasta in the minestrone soup is optional. I mean, I know it's not minestrone without pasta, but it's still a nice kind of speed and pea mix without the pasta. So I'll just put this to one side. It's still a bit hot. I've got the chopping board down there to protect what it's on. So yeah, uh, inside here, got the suit. Looks cooked. Smells really good. It's my first experience with these Kalo stock cubes and they actually smell really nice. Cool. So yeah, I should just pour nicely into here. But the pasta's cooked, the veggies cooked, and felt like it took hardly any time at all. It's nice because at the bottom it's uh, it's rounded, so the spoon kind of you can get right into the bottom. There's no corners for stuff to get stuck in. So yeah. There you have it. So 
and lovely. I'm in a strange suit that me and mum are going to go enjoy. So yeah, thanks for watching. And quickly before I go actually, I'll show you just the separate pieces. So this might still be a bit hot. No, it's all right. There are the options on the top there. That's the blade at the bottom. I'll show you the jug inside as well because I spoke about the fill lines. And you should be able to see them on the camera. Just inside. I don't yeah, you can just about see them. And that's what it's like. So yeah, simple, easy and really tasty. Well, hopefully. <laughs> Smells tasty. Right, cheers, bye.